Yo sup, this is NY3. Now the rest of Maximum Crisis has been leaked and amongst these leaks is a third Zephyr card in the set. Now this is the Zephyr's boss monster. It's called Zephyr Tora Grammaton. Level 11 Pendulum with a Pendulum Scale of 5. Earth Attribute Rock Type. Now if we know anything about the Dual Terminal world and Level 11s is that Level 11s are the gods of Dual Terminal. Sophia and Tiara were both Level 11. Now Zephyr Tora is slightly weaker than Sophia and Tiara. Its attack and defense is 3450 and 2950 respectively. This might indicate some sort of lore like it being a new god of the world therefore it has lesser stats or whatever. Uh, now this guy's artwork he looks like an upgraded version of Zephyr Core. So maybe Zephyr Core did something and achieved godhood. The other thing that implies this is of course that Grammaton and Zephyr Core are both rocks. Uh, also that might be what the artwork of Zephyr Crusade is all about. Now this pendulum effect is really good. Its monster effect is not as good but it's really really cool. Its pendulum effect reads during your main phase you can take one Zephyr pendulum monster in your deck and add it face up to your extra deck. Also this card's pendulum scale becomes the same as that pendulum monster's pendulum scale until the end of the turn. You can only use this effect of Zephyr Tora Grammaton once per turn. So yeah it's kind of like Luster Pendulum. It's a plus one to your extra deck so if you can access your pendulum summon consistently it's pretty much a plus one. Now back in the days when I used to play uh, pure Zephyr without you know all of these new support accessing Zephyr New was a very big deal since Zephyr New was pretty much the core of the whole deck. It searched anything you need and you had to be pendulum summoning that guy every single turn for you to get the necessary pluses to stay in the game. Now that we have this guy as well as Zephyr Providence to access Zephyr New more I think it's definitely a huge boost to the pure Zephyr playstyle. The main factor that I made Zephyr Yang Zings was because pure Zephyr couldn't access Zephyr New enough back then. I had to add in the additional Yang Zings to float into Zephyr New or float into Jiao Tu which can special summon Zephyr New directly from the deck. Synchroing off with it and then uh, pendulum summoning it back out from the extra deck. You know that was the whole concept behind Zephyr Yang Zings. But yeah this card along with Providence makes Zephyr New really accessible in pure Zephyr. For Metaphor Yang Zings, if you're going to be putting Zephyr New there, this is going to bump itself up to scale 7, which is pretty cool since all of the good Metaphor scales are uh, scale 1. So this is going to help balance the low and high scale ratio a bit if you do run it in Metaphor Yang Zings. Uh, this is not a Yang Zing card that you can discard with Jiao Tu. So running this in Metaphor Yang Zings is going to decrease the consistency of the one Metaphor three Yang Zing combo obviously. But the good things about running this is that it takes the focus away from Jiao Tu. Jiao Tu is quite a big choke point. It can be obviously stopped by, by Valor as well as a hand trap that's also coming out in Maximum Crisis which is really overpowered, Haru Urara or Ghost Ashes and Beautiful Spring. There's another one of those level 3 tuner zombie hand traps that's really really overpowered. But yeah, no, this is definitely a very safe play compared to a Jiaotu play. Pendulum summoning Zephyr New and grabbing a 9 pillars is a very powerful play that's probably going to win you the game. Uh, you could also put Zephraxi there. Uh, turning itself into a scale 1. Zephraxi being level 3, if you pendulum summon that out, is really good for making dinglongs. So that could be another thing. The cool thing is, this is a Zephyr skill that does not have a restriction on what you can pendulum summon. So you can pendulum summon non Zephyrs like the Metal Foes with this if you want. I also feel like this has some applications in Ritual Beast as well, for a pendulum Ritual Beast sort of thing. You can put Zephyr and Pelika into the extra deck to make this a scale 1. So having a scale 1 of this and another one of itself at scale 5. Or like a really good high skill such as Eccentric Archfiend. We can Pendulum Summon the Zephyr and Pelika that we put there straight away. And Zephyr and Pelika is going to trigger summoning a Ritual Beast from the graveyard. 
doing some contact fusion stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool since it can take the deck away from a very normal summon focused build. Uh, you know, normal summon focused decks are quite prone to certain cards. Uh, now, special summoning ritual beasts via pendulum summon is not too ideal in most circumstances due to the only one special summon per turn thing. So if you pendulum summon it, you can't contact out into them. But the good thing is, if we pendulum summon, say, for example, triple Kana Hawk, that only counts as one special summon of Kana Hawk that turn. So it's uh, completely legal to do you know, triple Kana Hawk, yet yeah, resolve triple Gold Sark, overlay them into rank four. A uh, pretty decent play if you open multiples of a Ritual Beast. Now for its monster effect. Now its summoning condition is extremely unique. We've never had anything like this in Yu-Gi-Oh before. It says cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned face up from your extra deck by tributing all monsters you control including at least one Zephyr monster and at least three monsters total and cannot be special summoned by other ways. So being level 11 you can't summon it with a wild monster appears which is a shame. Uh, tributing all monsters and you control is another very awkward thing to do uh, which I'll get to later. Now tributing of pendulum monsters is actually completely fine since they go straight to the extra deck ready to be pendulum summoned again. Now this guy is a pendulum monster that can be special summoned from your extra deck by tributing three from your field. Um, yeah I'm pretty sure there's no other card with a similar summoning condition as this guy right here. Now as for its effect, during the turn this card is special summon you can conduct the second pendulum summon but only of Zephyr monsters. Once per turn you can tribute one monster special summon one Zephyr monster from your deck. Now the first half is again a very unique effect that has never been done in Yu-Gi-Oh before. I was actually wondering when they're going to release a card that lets you pendulum summon twice in one turn and here it is. The very last set of the pendulum era maximum crisis we get a card that lets you pendulum summon twice in one turn although it has a huge restriction because it's a zephyr card and all zephyr cards are hugely restricted now the second pendulum summon can only be of zephyr monsters now this is this is quite restrictive since if we pendulum summon the same zephyrs we're not going to get their effects twice per turn every single zephyr their effects are are hard once per turn, so we pendulum summon Zephyr New, it dies somehow, and then we pendulum summon Zephyr New again that turn. It's not going to get two searches, for example. Splitting your huge pendulum summon up into two smaller pendulum summons is a nice option to have since it lets you play around summon negation, such as Solemn Strike, so you don't lose everything to a single strike if you split it up into two smaller summons. This can extend combos, but not too well since you have to tribute all the monsters you control. So if we're doing a combo such as a Jiaotu combo, we're gonna Jiaotu Zephyr New into Baxia, Jiaotu Zephyr New into another Baxia, and then Pendulum summon those two Zephyr News. Uh, here if we want to summon Zephyr Tora, we have to banish everything including our tuner or the Baxia that's going to bring back the tuner. So it's actually going to stop the synchro loop, uh, which makes this card a very difficult combo piece to use if we want to extend our combos even further by pendulum summoning the Zephyr News back out again afterwards. Its second effect, the, the once per turn you can tribute one monster special summon one Zephyr monster from your deck. So yeah that's a plus one effect if we tribute off a pendulum monster that can be pendulum summoned straight back from the extra deck. It's a shame that none of the Zephyrs trigger on special summon, they all trigger on pendulum summon. So it's not really a plus two, only a plus one. Uh, another cool thing is that the summoning of this guy is not restricted to once per turn. So I guess all of these effects can kind of help you spam three of these. So if you have three pendulum monsters, one of which is a Zephyr, you can summon this from your extra deck by tributing all three. Uh, pendulum summon all three, tribute them all off to summon another one of this, and then use your second pendulum summon of three Zephyr monsters and then tribute all of them off for another one of this. That's possible. You know, since it's a Zephyr card, I would have thought they restricted that, but they didn't, so yay. Uh, as for 
getting this guy to the extra deck. I'm fairly sure that the rulings would be you can use this guy's pendulum effect to put himself into the extra deck. Even though that it's a scale 5, putting him into the extra deck would mean you're trying to change it from scale 5 to scale 5. I think that uh, the also conjunction here means that it doesn't matter that you're putting a scale 5 there since it's resolved as much as possible. I could be wrong but uh, let's not ponder too much about this until the official TCG translation is out. So yeah, the monster effect, not really worth it to summon in... Metaphor Yang Zings. Yeah, its monster effects aren't really that worth it as well. If we do summon it, it's just a 3450 beta for the most part. But very unique monster effect, very unique mo uh, monster summoning condition, which makes it extremely cool. Its pendulum effect is extremely practical and very good. Yeah, before we end this video, good luck to the boys at YCS Sydney. I hope you guys do well. If you want to buy some singles, don't forget to check out YGOsingles.com. Tell a friend about it and tell them about the discount code NY333YGO for a 5% discount.